this time I want to show you how to export the FBX uh, model from the blender and then import it in Houdini in this example I'm, I'm using the 3d model soldier by Nisanta I will put the link in the description uh, so there is the this is the blender uh, 2.9 file but he also uh, give the texture so uh, when we see the 3d model in the blender file uh, so there is one two three four five five object here that we want to export so if we check the head here or we'll check the UV select all uh, this this head is using the head PNG image file then there's also the middle part uh, let's see the UV texture uh, this one using the body PNG so if we check the blender file is good it's okay uh, we can hit A to select all object and then click on the file uh, then let's export it to the FBX file uh, let's save it to the desktop export the mesh location is desktop let's call it soldier FBX export now after we export it let's open in Houdini so in Houdini uh, we import the, the FBX file by using click on the tab file and then choose the file in this file we can choose our soldier go to the desktop the soldier FBX accept it's too big so let's transform it to smaller scale go to the transform uniform scale to 0 0.01 uh, ok now we can see it but uh, if we render it with mantra there will be no texture so let's create a new camera then go to the render view click on the render as you can see here there is no texture so we have to assign it uh, this texture to Houdini uh, to do that we have to go into the file then we use the lab uh, quick material this one labs quick material uh, let's activate it now the the key is right here so if we use two material or four material we must assign four materials for this object so let's try to to put one material first so click on the group here then you can see uh, we we have five object that we can assign so uh, first let's click on the bottom part uh, then for the diffuse let's choose the file soldier soldier texture uh, this one is the bottom part so we choose the lower PNG so if we check again in render view there you go we can see the the pans now the diffuse is okay so uh, let's add another material by clicking the plus sign here which uh, add another instance uh, we, uh, this is just a little strange here because our pen is gone but uh, that's okay let's add another section here with the eye let's assign the diffuse to the eye png as you can see here it's changing now uh, add another material number three go into the face the fuse uh, head PNG click accept 
now let's add another material number four uh, this one is head still we are using this oh sorry still we are using the same the same uh, head png file then add another uh, this one is last part in the middle part uh, the previous color let's go into the body png that's it guys it's done so if you want to change this section or of the body we can use the node split split activate it so if we want to uh, choose or or want to edit the head only we can click here then uh, choose the face so if we activate the split node there you go we we only we only check the face then uh, let's say we want to edit the face and the middle part just select another another one so yeah that's it uh, if we want to choose the inverse of this object uh, we can click here then add the group node if we activate this group so we we see the inverse object uh, previously so that's it guys I'll see you later in the next tutorial